Hey everybody, what's going on? Bummer here, back inside of Borderlands, the pre-sequel. And today we have the Wilhelm Guide. I'm totally not doing this live because the guide that I had rendered disappeared because my computer crashed and everything went along with it. Totally not doing that. But welcome everyone to the Will Unstoppable Wilhelm Guide 2.0. Now, if you're new to these guides, they are rather long, so there will be links in the description to timestamps of where exactly you want to see, you know, the gear overview and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and go over the gear that we're going to be using for this Wilhelm guide. First off, we have the, the accelerated blaster. We want to make sure that it has plus four loop here. This is going to be very important as we're basically going to have a pseudo infinite ammo build with this. And now people have been saying, Baru, that's too hard to farm. I can't get anything. I don't know how to farm anything. All right, well, then we have the Thunderfire. You know exactly where to get it. Baru, 3% is too high for me. All right, then you can have my neck. All three of these lasers will work with Wilhelm, whether or not you want to farm them or not. These are the three things. We're going to use this one because infinite ammo, Thunderfire because it's overpowered as hell, and my neck because it's a 100% chance to get from a quest, and it's also pretty good. So the shield that we're going to be using is the Prismatic Bulwark. Extra 35.9% damage. In addition, we have the Celestial Enforcer for that extra 35% gun damage, 10% movement speed, and a whole bunch of different skills there. Then the Eddy, more laser damage, as I'm sure you can see where this is going. We have all the laser damage in the world here. And a little bit of extra survivability via the uh, regening of the shield and health vials. And then we've got a data discover that we're pretty much never going to use because we don't take hits anyway. So that is most of the gear. You can get the prismatic bulwark from the Sentinel, Celestial Enforcer from Question Mark Anywhere, Eddie from Claplek inside of the Veins of Helios, and then a data discover from a quest inside of the Claptrap DLC. Now let's go ahead and go over go ahead and go over the spec here obviously we're going to go into wolf and saint and then we're going to start down the cyber commando tree now for this build we're going to focus pretty much a hundred percent on every possible offensive buff we can get because this build in my mind needs to be killing things as fast as humanly possible and you'll see from the gameplay that we end up having here that it's a little it's a little strong so we're going to go into laser focus for an extra 20 percent laser damage the magazine size is also really nice we're going to go ahead and put one point into mana machine for a little bit of extra shield and health next we're going to go five out of five into targeting scope for an extra 100 percent critical damage and 150 percent accuracy we're not going to spec into first of fight because i don't really feel the points in there to be worth it considering you need to not take damage for five seconds for it to happen, and that may not always happen. So five seconds of some extra damage just doesn't feel worth it to me. Power Fist, not that great. It really doesn't do too much. Maybe if the enemy is cryoed, it'll do something, but overall, not gonna work. Then we've got Shock Absorbers. We're gonna spec into that because being able to shoot and sprint at the same time is really nice. For the next few points, we're going to also we're going to pick up emergency response for some extra fire rate and give Wolf a little bit of fire rate as well as divert power for some damage resistance and 100% recharge shields. Now we're going to go into Welcome to the Gun Show for some more damage and some magazine size. It's also uh, it's also nice. And then one point into Vengeance Cannon for a little bit of extra damage. Now let's take a look at the Hunter Killer skill tree. We're going to put four points into Fire Support and then one point into Afterburner because having a little bit of extra projectile speed is going to be really nice if you are using any of the blasters, which these are all blasters, and having just a little bit of projectile speed is really nice. I wish that actually applied to the Data Discover, but unfortunately it does not. Next, we're going to go 5 out of 5 into Suppression for the extra fire rate on ourself. Wolf's fire rate is nice, but not needed. But he will definitely be providing a very large portion of damage. Next, we're going into Laser Guided for an additional 25% multiplicative damage up against anything that we are fighting. In addition, it will also increase Wolf Saint's duration by 5 seconds every time we get a kill on a marked target. 
which is going to make Rolling Thunder, which we're going to put five points into, really good. Every every five seconds, Wolf gains 10% more damage. And with the laser guided buff, it's not going to be that hard to get about 10 to 20, maybe even 30 stacks of Rolling Thunder, depending on where you're at. Now we're going to go into Escalation for a little bit of critical damage and recharging our action skill. Cold War, because whenever we apply a Shock, Incendiary, or Corrosive status effect, which all of these lasers can do, especially Minex Atonement, this thing will go through all three of those elements. So if you're looking to debuff an enemy, Minex Atonement's really nice. Thunderfire is second, and then the Blaster is third on those fronts. But anyway, you're going to be able to do a little bit of extra chance to freeze whenever you put a status effect on something. We're not going to get into a Mega Strike because it's really bad. Don't spec into it. Now we're going to put four points into Fortify, one into Auxiliary Tanks for a little bit of gun damage. I'm not really worried about the maximum health. And then four points, in, or then one point into here for a little bit of extra duration and some cooldown rate. Next we're going to go five out of five into Energize because it's a really nice skill to have. Uh, gives you 6% of your maximum health every second, which is going to be pretty much your only method of getting health regen. Now, we could put one point in Determination Protocols, but honestly, I don't really find it necessary. So instead, I'm just going to take the extra 4% gun damage and put it into Fortify. Now, we have two points left over that we can pretty much throw wherever we want to have them. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the last 3% gun damage on the fire support. And we have one more point. So where do we want to throw it? We'll go into Fast Like a Cheetah. There we go. Fast like a cheetah. That's that's the new build name here. So that is going to be the spec that we are going to be using for this character. And it pretty much is going to be... It, it, as you can see, it's focused on as much damage output possible. And once we get into the gameplay, you're going to see that we're going to mostly be using the blaster and its loop effect. It's very important that you make sure that it has L4 on it. If it does not have L4, that means you can't get a loop effect on this gun and you're going to want it for infinite ammo reasons. So that is pretty much the gear here. Uh, you don't want to use any non-laser weapon. I mean, rocket launchers are nice, but if you're not using a laser, you're just not doing it right. So, regular guns don't really work on Wilhelm all that well. As far as different grenades, Stormfront doesn't really have much synergy. However, you can use a Mega Nade if you would like to, in order for a little bit more crowd control. As far as swapping out the shield or the eddy, there's no real point, as you're going to be taking off almost, you know, 20 to 30% extra damage, and you kind of want to have that stuff. So, yeah. This is pretty much the set build that I have. The Unstoppable Wilhelm Guide 2.0. So that is pretty much going to wrap it up for the actual build. We're going to switch over to some gameplay now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future content. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one, everybody. Later.